Don't you love when this is your second time filming this video? I'm probably gonna expose myself a little bit in this video. Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So for this week's vlog, I have created a quiz for you all um, that I want you all to take that I'm gonna read you the questions about. Now you may be wondering, Annie, what, what is this quiz you created? You know, did I need to study? Do I, do I need a calculator? What do I need? No, this isn't a school related test. This is a test all about being a hopeless romantic. Aww. So why did I make a quiz about being a hopeless romantic, you ask? Well, I, I will admit it, definitely feel like I'm exposing myself, but I'm, I'm a bit of a hopeless romantic. And I think there is a stigma around being a hopeless romantic, which makes me really sad because I personally don't think there's anything wrong with it. And I wanted to take the opportunity to, while embracing this and, you know, kind of breaking down the stigma, also poke fun a little bit about, you know, having this quality about me and my personality and make a quiz of different scenarios that I believe equate to being a hopeless romantic. And yeah, so basically the point of this quiz is I'm going to read off 25 different scenario questions. I don't really know what to call them. And I want you all to keep track of your answers. And you know, after you can feel free to let me know. But basically the point is the more of these scenario question statements that you believe you check off that you have, the more of a hopeless romantic you are. So let's get into it. Let's read the questions. Let's get started. So I wrote these out on my laptop in a note. So I'm pulling that up now. Okay, here we go. Number one, you have a wedding board on Pinterest. Number two, your favorite genre of books is romance. Number three, you love to watch romance movies. Number four, you get really attached to fictional relationships. Number five, you wish a fictional character would, could be your significant other. Number six, you have a playlist of love songs. Number seven, you've already imagined what your wedding is going to be like multiple times. <laughs> Number eight, you've never been in a serious relationship. Number nine, you are a daydreamer. Number 10, you're obsessed with the changing of seasons because you love the new hope they symbolize and the romance that comes with that. Number 11, you watch ship videos. Number 12, you're obsessed with the five love languages. Number 13, you love Valentine's Day even though you are always single on it. Number 14, you love romantic gestures, both big and small. Number 15, physical touch doesn't freak you out. In fact, it's something you constantly need. Number 16, all you want is for someone to bring you flowers. Number 17, you love anniversaries even though you've never been in a relationship. Number 18, you already know what kind of wedding ring you want. Number 19, you have a list of baby names on your phone. Number 20, you've seen almost all of the Nicholas Sparks movies or you've read almost all the books. Number 21, you've never been on a proper date. Number 22, you like to write and receive love letters. Number 23, your background on your phone is of your celebrity or not celebrity crush. Number 24, you are a huge Taylor Swift fan. And number 25, you've been called a hopeless romantic multiple times before. So um, I hope you all enjoyed taking the quiz. Um, please feel free, you know, tally up your score to see whether or not you're a hopeless romantic. Now, please know this is very subjective. These are just different characteristic statements that I, you know, with the help of my friends and some internet searching kind of came up with and this is by no means meant to belittle or you know if you feel that you're a hopeless romantic to make you feel bad about it you know I think I think these are all great characteristics to have I don't think there's anything wrong with that I just kind of wanted to take it poke a little fun at it because you know honestly sometimes you got it you got to use some humor to cope and um yeah I just kind of wanted to create a video about this because I think oftentimes I don't know people associate being a hopeless romantic with like you know, I don't know. I think it, people associate it negatively and I, I don't think there's anything wrong with it. And, you know, I think there's beauty in, you know, being a hopeless romantic, being a dreamer, loving, you know, believing in magic or loving the magic of love or life. And I, I think there's beauty in that. And, you know, kind of with any personality trait, there's pros and cons. And I think we all have to learn how to see the pros in every, you know, single characteristic that people may have and personality traits that people may have. And, yeah, I just think I, you know, I'm, I, well, I feel like I'm exposing myself, you know, I don't, I definitely have qualities in myself that make me a hopeless romantic, but then I also have qualities on this list that I don't think I have, or yeah, there's qualities on this list that I don't think I have. So I just kind of wanted to 
open up the conversation to kind of like destigmatize this and to just kind of say, you know, it's okay to, you know, love love or, you know, dream about love, fantas fantasize about it, you know, like just like be into that. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. And yeah, you know, I hope I hope you all found this funny. I hope you all enjoyed. Um, you know, feel free to let me know your thoughts on this whole subject matter down below. And I will see you all in next week's video. I hope you all enjoyed. Bye.